What do you think? Happy Monday, or should I say happy Halloween? Can you name this Orisha? Who am I today? So listen, everyone, I got this really cool question. And it was like on um, perfect timing, as they always are, right? And this is all about uh, someone uh, said Alegba. So that's why I decided to use the Orishas today. <laughs> someone said Alegba um, came to them in a dream, and they want and Alegba said he wanted to work with her. And from there, um, she did everything. She set out an offering, lit the candles, um, uh, set an altar up, and essentially welcomed him into her energy. And then um, that night, the energy was super powerful, very overwhelming, and essentially she got scared. Um, she snuffed it out. Then she told him, look, I'm really nervous. And then she hoped that he wasn't upset with her. And then she, um, you know, just kind of like left it at that. And then from there, she's like, okay, how do I deal with such powerful energy? And so here's the thing, everyone. It's all in your mind, first off. These deities represent an aspect of you. They represent a certain energy. So one thing that you can do is study them. It's so important to study them. And one way you study them is understanding what they're about. So, you know, today I just kind of had some fun and I got a stick. This represents Alegba. Alegba is also part child and part man, and he's known as the opener, opener of ways. And what does that mean? Now, you have to think about this. This is our ancestral past and our ancestral his history. And this came over from Africa through European religions and sustained itself through Santeria, Candomblé, Lukumi, um, Palo Miombe. I mean, we can go on and on in African traditional religions. And you're like, well, how in the world did Alegba, you know, or Elega, or Elegua, because um, there's different names, but let's be clear, Elegua or Elegua is not the same as Eshu. They're aspects of each other, though, okay? Um, just as um, Baron Samedi is not the same. And sometimes people kind of like mush them all together, but it's nice to separate them just to start to understand the subtleties of energy and intention. Okay, and remember they're all ideas and why would that idea be so important? Why do they call Elegua before um, before they call anyone else in, before they call in who I am today? Why do they do that? Well, that's because he's the opener of ways at the crossroads, the gate opener. And what does that really mean? And so luckily for you, I knew I was doing this video and of course the information came to me very clearly last night. And that's this, you have to understand, our ancestors used this energy for a very clear reason, especially using it here in the Americas and in the Caribbean. And that's because they needed to understand this way of life. Essentially, there was a whole new way of operating and they had to understand it. So one way you can think about him as someone who has the freedom and the, the um, happiness and that willingness to play like a child and then the wisdom of an old man. And you have to realize he's often depicted as the two. All right. Understanding that. He is essentially saying, I can understand this matrix. I can understand what's created and how it's been manipulated, and I can make that manipulation work for me. I can make that manipulation work for you. So he's the opener of ways. And remember, we, our ancestors, came into a place where our ways were constricted, right? You know, there was slavery, there was um, indentured servitude, there were so many things blocking our way. We all know about racism. This stuff isn't old. So, of course, you would have a deity that, that could break through all of that. And the colors are red and black. And red and black, if we go into Hindi and different areas, associate the root chakra, the money, um, foundation, family. And so here he is, and often sometimes white, essentially kind of breaking open through that pathway. So here he is creating pathways for you that seem blocked in the first place. Another a deity that connects to that is Ganesha. Ganesha also is connected to the ways and breaking obstacles, and that's a Hindi. So you have to realize these are ideas that we use and put energy into to get through and break through to a, to a different realm, through um, a different challenge. And so 
that's what a leg was about. So if you're afraid of that energy, to me, all you're telling me is that you're afraid of the aspect of yourself that can transcend this realm, okay? That can transcend what we think to be true and, and break through that and find a whole new way that's unknown. You're afraid of the unknown. So if you want to know how to deal with such powerful energy, make peace with what you've called upon you and make peace with what you've been asking to ha um, happen in your life. Elegba came because, or Elega came, or Elegba came because he wanted, because you called for this energy within you. Remember, this is not outside of you. This is within you. This is our ancestral rights, okay? That's, that's saying, hey, you're ready for this. You're ready for something bold and new. And then think about like this. If he's the opener of ways, and then from there, you can call in Oya, Oshun, Yemiya, um, Ogun, and you can call in all these different deities. What does that really mean? It means that if you were to call in the deity, and this is why if you ever pay attention to people who are really hardcore and they're and they follow the the traditions exactly, um, if you were just calling on an Oshun without calling on a Legba, you're essentially saying I want to deal with love or that within the matrix and not going beyond what's possible. A Legba helps you go beyond what you think you know. A Legba helps to manipulate and and shift and open up pathways that are brand new. So it makes more sense that if you want to go for love, if you want to go for fertility, if you want to go for new beginnings, whatever it is, you'd want to do it in a way that's brand freaking new. So to me, I'm hearing a fear of the new. So the way you get comfortable with the energy is research, research, research. Pay attention to and learn what they're about. Um, allow them to come into your dreams and write down what they're actually sharing with you and then have fun. I dressed up as this particular Orisha because as I was doing some fun research, it said that this Orisha um, is sometimes thought as the mother of a leg butt. So I thought to myself, mm, and I'm giving you a big hint, break the fear. If you're the mother, if you can be and embody that mother, then why would you be afraid of your son? Huh? All right. Happy, happy Monday, everyone. And happy Halloween. <laughs>